So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is looker functions and operator. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. So now let's move ahead and looker in incognito window. Now here enter the credentials from the lab instructions. Just follow the way I am doing and then click on login. Now here follow the way I am doing because if you miss any single step you won't get full score. So first of all the most important thing is that we need to enable the development mode. So for that click on the development mode. As you can see here is the development mode. Now the page will refresh automatically and finally we are in the development mode. So basically you have to click on this toggle. Now here from here we will proceed to the main task. So get started. So now from here click on explore and from here just select flights. Now go back to task number one. So basically this task is very easy and simple but make sure to follow the way I am doing. Now copy count from here. Wait for the page to fully load. Search box type count and select in the flights only. Make sure to select under flights. Now from here we have to select week. Under flights dimension and then week. So just click on depart date. Click on this and from here click on week. So finally week has been added to now for date we have to create a filter so click on this basically this will add a filter now we have to select the filter is in the year 2003 so now click on it and here select is in the year just type 2003 so finally it's done now we have to run it and create a private data so first of all just find it distance tiered so just here we have added it so you have two options you can directly pivot it or you can pivot it using the search box so this has been done now we have to change the visualization to line and then we have to add a legend alignment but since we haven't run it so first of all we need to run the look so let's run it now the legend align method will be enabled so wait for the look to run lab instruction copy the file name and now finally it's available now from here select legend line to left now close it, now click on gear icon, save, save the look, enter the name and click on save. So finally the look has been saved and now you will hit check my progress, you will get the score without any issue. Now if you face error, do repeat the step from the beginning of the video. Now for task number 2, we have to reorder the columns. So now again open looker in new tab. Now from here again go to flight. Now we will move forward to the lab instruction and follow the steps mentioned on it. So let's go. So now we have to click on percentage cancel percent cancelled. So now click on it. Now again we have to add month. So just type month and we have to enter make sure to select depart date only. So as you can see here it is click on it. So now after that we have to again edit the date and set it to is in the year. So basically date will be filter. So click on it and from here just click on filter by field. So it will be is in the year and here the value is 2000. So let's cross verify is in the year 2000. So now we have done. Now here. You have to type state and 
select one aircraft origin we have done all remaining tasks in flights but for this data we have to select aircraft origin so now here state has been added now click on run now wait for the data to load finally data has been loaded now here we have to remove some values so first of all make percentage cancel to descending order that means high to low now we have to remove the department so click on gear icon and then click on remove just click on it and finally it's removed now here we have to save the look and first of all run it and then save as a loop so i am doing slowly slowly because a lot of you guys may face error and a lot of you guys are worried about it so now save it because everyone plays music and no one teaches how to complete a task so you should understand the real concept behind these programs now we have to add table calculations and simple percentage so again open a new tab now from here just click on explore again open flights now wait for the flight to open so finally here it's done now we will move out to the lab instruction and as you can see we have to open flights and then flight details measures cancel count so basically we have to click on cancel count and add to our data so copy the name from here copy it carefully and then paste over here and now click on it so finally it has been added now from here click on count and it must be under measures so that is not aircraft it must be under flight measures so as you can see here is flight click on it so both have been added now we have to add state and the state will be again under aircraft origin so now type state or just copy it so click on it finally these three have been added now we have to again create a filter that is date filter is in the year so now type date and then select as i am doing in the video now finally we have to select is in the year now here enter the value now we have to add run first of all run it and then add table calculation scroll up click on add and then this will be used for table calculation and just below it the formula is present so let me show you this formula expression we have to use for this task so first of all click on add then click on add table enter it and then the format percent and percent will be zero decimal just copy the name carefully so just rename it and finally it has been added now you have to click on cancel count and just hide it from visualization so finally it got hidden now for visualization type it will be map so it's already selected i think yes it's already selected now we have to save the look so for saving the look copy the name carefully now click on save save as a look enter the name and then click on save so finally the look has been saved now let's hit check my progress for this task we'll get the score without any issue so now we have to use table calculation to calculate percentage of total so now again open it in new tab or just click on it now from here we will navigate again click on explore again flights now 
now here we have to select total distance carefully select it enter here make sure to remove any unwanted space and dot so now here now we have to add name under carrier section so just select carrier section scroll down a bit and as you can see here is the carrier section so just click on it finally it has been added now we have to check the totals next to row limit so just click on it it will be checked now click on run now wait for the update to get and here we have to add a table calculation so copy the formula close it and just add table calculation enter the expression and it will be percent to zero decimal as you can see it's there now basically we don't have to add any name just save it directly now just click on save now from here first of all we need to hide the visualization that is total distance column so now again move to the looker and from here click on gear icon and then click on hide visualization now it has been hidden now just click on run and then we will save the file so finally it has been updated and now we have to save the file so for file name just copy the name carefully that is percentage total of carrier so finally as you can see the data is same now click on save save as a look enter the name and then click on save so finally we are done with this task also now we got the score if you don't get the score just follow the video again so now open it again now this one is last task i think so so please pay attention to everything whatever i say now again click on flights now here copy the count name enter it and it must be present under flights click on it now it has been added now click on distance tiered just copy it carefully make sure there is no any extra space or dot now click on it so finally both have been added now we have to add pivot data of year so just type year now scroll down a bit so you can see we have to add pivot data here on slides so just click on it and the data has been pivoted so finally it's done now we have to create a date filter that is in or after year so now click on type of date now from here just add a filter now for filter value it will be is on or after now the date will be let me show you the date 1 1 2000 so you can either type or just use the arrow key so i am using the easiest option just follow it and click on it now click on any else place finally it's done now we have to add a table calculation so first of all hit run now from here copy the table value that is formula now click on add click on add button table calculation enter the expression default formatting will again be percentage zero and then just hide count from visualization so when we will click on hide count for visualization just select anyone all the count will be disabled i mean invisible for everyone so now we have to select visualization to table and enable conditional formatting so now click on it now you have to click on edit and for conditional formatting just you can see here is formatting option just enable conditional formatting and just click on add a rule just click on below add a rule now you have to just run again and save the look so copy the name carefully 
copy it carefully and save save as a look and then click on save so finally all looks have been saved now let's see it check my progress for this task and if you are still here do like the video and subscribe the channel finally we got full score and we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead let's see it check my progress again so no need to worry we have already got the full score so thank you guys have a great day ahead